a very good morning to all today we are moving on to a new topic which is about adaptations of mangroves so in the last class we learned about adaptation in aquatic plants and adaptation in plants of deciduous forest so all these plants have special features that helps them to survive in its place today we are going to learn about adaptations of mangroves so mangroves are aquatic plants so you all know what are aquatic plants plants that grow in water we call it as aquatic plants and these mangroves are group of trees and shrub and where do they grow they grow in salty water and where the soil is clay so mangroves are group of trees and shrub that grows in salty water and where the soil is clay so these plants have some special features that helps them to grow in salty water now let's see this picture you can see their roots are above the ground so we all know that plants need air to live they also need air water and food to live why because they are living thing and to the amount of oxygen which is present in the clay soil which is below the water is very less or we can say it is very limited the amount of oxygen which is present in the clay soil which is very limited so that their roots grow above the ground so they can directly take the air from the atmosphere so that they have roots above the ground the another feature of these mangroves you can see they have stilt roots what is it they have stilt roots so mangrove trees have stilt roots if you see this picture you can see stilt roots means their roots diverged from stems and branches so what is this diverge diverge means separated their roots get separated from stems and branches so that it gives physical support to the plant it gives extra support to the tree by holding them tightly to the soil so what are the features of mangroves so mangroves have stilt roots and they have roots which grow above the ground so all these features helps these mangroves to grow at the edge of ocean and where do they grow these plants have special features that helps them to grow in salty water so this is about mangroves so mangroves are group of trees and shrub you all know what is shrub what are shrub so shrubs are medium sized plants and they grow in salty water where the soil is clay so this is about the adaptation of mangroves in page number 42 you can see a box there why should we protect mangroves so many kinds of marine other and other animals live in mangroves then what is the next one given if mangroves are damaged what happen if they are damaged many marine plants and animals will not be able to survive so plants and animals many marine plants and animals will lose their shelter the third one mangroves help in reducing the force of ocean storms including tsunamis and even it prevent the soil from being eroded even it prevent soil erosion so this is about mangroves so there are two questions given there let's see and you can tick the right answer aquatic plants are adapted to grow in less sunlight water air so what is the answer aquatic plants are plants that grow in water and they are adapted to that they are adapted to live in less sunlight and less air what about the second one mangroves grow in so where do they grow sandy soil clay soil rocky soil so where do they grow they grow in sandy soil so now let's move on to the exercise in page number 43 the first one is tick the correct options i'll read out the questions you can tick the right answers then we'll discuss the answers moving on to the first one plants that grow on land are called insectivorous plants aquatic plants terrestrial plants parasitic plants the second one plants in rainforest are adapted to extreme heat 
heavy rainfall, scanty rainfall, extreme cold. The third one, deciduous trees have smooth stem for water to quickly flow away. The second one, flexible stem to withstand strong winds, trunk with a thick bark and last one, weak stem. The fourth one, what's the question? Cactus plants have roots that grow close to the surface of the ground, stilt roots to support them, roots that are underwater and the last one, roots growing deep into the soil. Fifth one, roots of mangrove trees absorb air from. So where do they absorb air from? Water, atmosphere, land, rain. The sixth one, aquatic plants are adapted to conditions of scanty water, plentiful rain, drought and plentiful water. So you can tick the right answers. Now let's see what are the answers. So what is the answer for the first one? Plants that grow on land. So you all know plants that grow on land, what do we call them? We call them terrestrial plants. The second one, plants in rainforest are adapted to. In rainforest, it will be raining throughout the year and the plants that live there have special features to adapt to the wet condition. So what is the answer? They are adapted to heavy rainfall. The third one, deciduous trees have. So deciduous trees are found in region where there is cold winter. So they are, these trees have trunk with thick bark. So the answer is they have trunk with thick bark. Why do they have that? In order to withstand the cold weather condition. Moving on to the fourth one, cactus plants have, they have roots that grow close to the surface of the ground. They have long roots that helps them to collect water from larger areas. What is the fifth one? Roots of mangrove trees absorb air from. So where do they absorb air from? They absorb air directly from the atmosphere. So what is the answer? The answer is atmosphere. The sixth one. Aquatic plants are adapted to conditions of so they are adapted to conditions of plentiful water. Where do they grow? They grow in water. Coming to the second one. Completes the chart to show the adaptation in coconut palm. So we all know coconut tree have some adaptive features that helps them to survive in coastal region. So let's see what are they. First of all, what is the first one given? Leaves. So what is the feature of leaf? What is the adaptive feature of leaf that helps them to survive there? So let's see, the leaves are thick. So the coconut trees have thick leaves and are formed of many long strips to bear the force of strong wind. So they have thick leaves with long strip that helps them to bear the strong wind. They also have a shiny surface to reflect strong sunlight. Then, next one is the fruit of coconut palm. Large fruits that can remain afloat in seawater. Afloat means without sinking in water. They can, they can remain floating in the water for many days and give rise to new plants on reaching the shore. So these plants have large fruits that remain floating in the water. What about its roots? So they have long roots that grow deep into the sandy soil and that firmly anger the plant. So that is the adaptive feature of, feature of these roots. And what about stem? The sturdy flexible stem tolerates strong winds. So what is the meaning of sturdy? Sturdy means strong. Coconut tree have strong flexible stem that helps them to bear the strong wind. So these are the features. These are the adaptive feature of the coconut tree.